Hello viewers. I welcome you all to EPG Patsala. I am Dr. Varalakshmi Moganti. I worked in the area of political philosophy in research and teaching at the Department of Philosophy, Andhra University in Visakhapatnam. The module I am dealing today is on the topic constitutional provisions relating to rights of children that comes under the paper on child rights. Now we shall deal with the learning objectives. This module helps the reader initially how to read the constitutional provisions and also make aware of the significant articles in the constitution to claim as fundamental rights under the definition of citizenship to any person and where child is no exception under such definition. This also provides for the obligation of the states for the protection and welfare and certain measures under directive principles of the constitution. By doing this module, a person will be certainly very well aware of that. One has to have knowledge of these constitutional provisions primarily and also be aware of certain case laws that guide a person to file a suit in case of violation of rights conferred by constitution or to make negotiation for introduction of new laws by looking into the certain uh, amendment acts for children. Please have a look at the preamble of the constitution of India. Introduction A child is a citizen of India due to his birth in the Indian territory as per article 5 of the constitution. We can deduce that child is also a citizen of India and all the provisions in the constitution are applicable to child also. While reading the constitutional provisions, one should look into all these aspects that constitution covered for the comprehensive development of the child. Generally, we look into, we only look for such provisions where child is given a special mention. We can say for example, uh, when we will refer to article 24 that protects the child and prohibits employment of children below the age of 14 years in any factory, mine or any other hazardous place. But we should read thoroughly Indian constitution that provides for many provisions for the child under the citizenship. As for example, article 38 obligates states to provide for a secure social order for promotion of welfare of the people. Hence, a child is one among the people under the constitution and a child can claim for his or her right to welfare through a secure social order in that particular state. In this backdrop, let us look into the constitutional provisions for the child. The constitution of India which came into effect from 26 January 1950 in its preamble itself held we the people of India having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure all citizens justice, social, economic and political liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. True to its nature, Indian constitution aimed at these goals through various legislations apart from its constitutional provisions for the rights and duties of citizens. And a child is not a, an exception for any legislative measure in this way. Indian constitution is divided into 22 parts. Part 2 of the constitution provides for the citizenship and part 3 of the constitution deals with the fundamental rights and four, part 4 with the directive principles of state policy and part 4 a with uh, the fundamental duties. Now let us look into the legal provisions in these major parts of the constitution along with the other provisions of the constitution. 1. Right to citizenship. Part 2 of the constitution through articles 5 provides for citizenship for a who was born in the territory of India, b either of whose parents was born in the territory of India, c who has been ordinarily in resident in the territory of India for not less than 5 years immediately preceding such a commencement. Further, article 10 provides for the continuous of the rights of citizenship. Accordingly, every person who is deemed to be a citizen of India under any of the foregoing provisions of this part shall subject to the provisions of any law that may be made by the parliament continue to be a citizen. 
look at the slide on fundamental rights fundamental rights of the child as said above part 3 of the constitution provides for the fundamental rights of the citizens the fundamental rights are inclusive of articles from 12th to article 35 fundamental rights include one right to equality then right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion and right to cultural and educational rights and right to constitutional remedies article 12th defense of the state it includes the government and parliament of india in the government and legislature of each of the state and all local or uh, other authorities in the legislature of each of the states and all local or other authorities within the territory of india or under the control of the government of india now we shall deal with the right to equality article 14 states that the state shall not deny any person before the law or equal protection of the laws within the territory of india further we shall deal with two case laws provided here one blind employee can offer to retire and request employment to his dependent bhagwan das and company versus punjab state electricity board a year 2008 sc 990 2008 1 scc 579 is the case second employment of young tribals as police officers to fight nexels is not permitted in case of nandini sundar and others versus state of chatisgarh a year 2011 sc 2839 2217 scc 547 article 15 deals with the prohibition of discrimination against any citizen on the grounds only of religion race caste sex place of birth or any uh, any of them provision for equal opportunity on matter of public employment accordingly the state shall not discriminate against any citizen on the grounds only of religion race caste sex place or birth of or any of them and further no citizen shall on grounds only of religion race caste sex place of birth or any of them be subject to any disability liability restriction or condition with regard to access to shops public restaurants hotels and places of public entertainment or the use of wells tanks um, bathing ghats roads and places of public resort maintained wholly or partly out of state funds or dedicate to the use of general public further third deals with the nothing in this article shall prevent the state from making any special provisions for women and children and fourth deals with the nothing in this article prevent the state from making special provisions for the advancement of socially or educationally backward classes of citizens or for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes case laws under this article 154 and article 154 a uh, forward class woman marrying the scheduled caste husband is not entitled to scheduled caste um, uh, scheduled caste status sobahaimati devi versus city gangadhara 2005 ar scw 715 plus ar 2005 sc 800 2005 scc 244 another case is scheduled tribe women marrying forward caste men the children born to them shall be treated as forward class persons subject however to the condition under which they are brought up if they are brought up as scheduled caste tribes they they take their mother status ram bhai dabhai naikav versus state of gujarat in 2012 third scc 400 2012 scc l and ls 624 2001 Article 16 provides for equal opportunities in matters of public employment. Though this article is not directly related to children, children are benefited due to the parental status of employment in this regard. Article 7 deals with the um, 17 deals with the abolition of untouchability. According to this article 17, untouchability is abolished and it it's in it is in fact it's in practice in any form is forbidden. the enforcement of any disability arising out of untouchability shall be an offence punishable in accordance with the law for uh, again right to freedom article 19 of the constitution provides for the protection all citizens shall have right to freedom of speech and expression 
to assemble peacefully and without arms and also to provide to form associations or unions and this article also provides for to move freely uh, throughout the territory of india further it also provides for the to reside and settle in any part of the territory of india also it provides for to practice any profession or to carry on any occupation trade or business case law under this education is an occupation it's not the same as business or trade p a inamdar and others versus state of maharashtra and others a year 2005 sc 3226 acc 537 is a reference right to life and personal liberty uh, this article 21 provides for this this is another right under the category of right to freedom under part 3 of the fundamental rights accordingly no person shall be deprived of this life uh, or personal liberty except according to the procedure established by law case law under this sexual assault uh, sexual assault harassment violates human rights visakha versus state of rajasthan is the case and another case is child offenders are entitled to special facilities sheela versus versus union of india is the case and another children of a women prisoner shall be allowed to retain with her and they shall be given all facilities of their main and maintenance right to education article 21a states that the state shall provide free and compulsory education to all children of the age of 6 to 14 years in such manner as the state may by law determine this scheme after the 86th amendment act 2002 on 2000 in 12th february 2002 some case laws in this regard differential free structure between kendri vidyalaya and project schools is justified p ravindran versus union of india and others another case is in case of shifting a school from one village to another the government shall establish another school at the village from which the school is shifted NJ Komno versus uh, State of Manipur and others. Now we shall deal with the right against exploitation as per Article 23.1. Traffic in human beings and beggars and other similar forms of forced labor are prohibited, and any contravention of this provision shall be an offence punishable in accordance with the law. Article 24 deals with the prohibition of employment of children below the age of 14 years. in any factory mine or in any other hazardous places right to freedom of religion article 25 deals with the freedom of conscience and uh, free profession practice and propagation of religion subject to public order and morality and health to other provisions all are equally related for this provision article 28 deals with the freedom as to attendance at religious instruction or religious worship in certain educational institutions or 1228 one states that no religious instruction shall be provided in any educational institution which wholly maintained out of state funds but two sub clause of this two of this article states that clause clause one of this article is not applicable in educational was institution was administered by state which has been established under any endowment or trust clause 3 makes provision for such attendance where the person is minor his guardian has given consent thereto for uh, next deals with the cultural and educational rights article 291 provides for protection of interest of minorities article 291 of the part 3 that deals with fundamental rights the states that any any section of the citizens uh, residing in the territory of india or any part there having a distinct language script or culture of its own shall have the right to conserve the same as for example a picture is shown here where cultural rights are in question by tribals of odisha state article 21 2 states that no citizen shall be denied admission into any educational institution maintained by the state or receiving aid 
out of state funds or on grounds by only of religion race caste language or any of them article 30 provides for rights of minorities to establish and administer educational institutions tribes and other weaker sections as per article 31 all minorities whether based on religion or language shall have the right to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice and right to constitutional remedies the part 3 of the constitution under fundamental rights also provides certain articles that stand for certain laws from article 31a to 31d and right to constitutional remedies under 30 from article 32 to 35 article 32 of the indian constitution provides for remedies for enforcement of rights conferred by the part on fundamental rights article 32 provides for right to move the supreme court by appropriate proceedings for the enforcement of the rights conferred by the by this part case law under this police attack on sleeping people was condemned by the supreme court ramlila maidan incident is an example for this now we shall deal with the obligation of the state for provision of child under part 4 of the constitution that provides for the directive principles to state policy this is inclusive of, of certain special provisions for children and certain other provisions along with uh, along with this right to welfare where the state is obligated to secure social order for the promotion of welfare of the peoples this is provided through article 381 this reads that the state shall strive to promote the welfare of the people to strive to promote by securing and protecting effectively as it may a social order in which justice social economic and political shall inform all the institutions of the national life article 382 insists that state shall strive to minimize the inequalities in income and endeavor facilities and opportunities not only among individuals but also among groups of people residing in different areas engaged in different vocations and article 39 deals with certain principles of policy to be followed by the state in particular the state shall in particular direct its policy towards securing a that the citizens men and women equally have the right to an adequate means of livelihood and b that the ownership and control of the material resources of the community are so distributed as best to subserve the common good c that the operation of the economic system does not result in the concentration of wealth and means of production to the common detriment d deals with the that there is equal pay for equal work for both men and women e deals with that the health and strength of the workers men and women and the tender age of the children are not abused and that citizens are not forced by economic necessity to enter vocations unsuited to their age or strength f deals with the children are given opportunities and facilities to develop in a healthy manner and in condition of freedom and dignity and that childhood and youth are protected against exploitation and against moral and material abandonment after 42nd amendment act 1976 this came into force case law the object of this article is creation of welfare state case vananda bharti versus state state of kerala is a famous case under this and case law to foreign adoptions are recommended by the supreme court prime consideration is the welfare of the child lakshmi kant pandey versus union of india case law 3 this is of a compensation for the death of a child who died in motor accident outside in school while she was proceeding to quench a thirst due to the non availability of water in the school is maintainable so all india this is a case all india lawyers union delhi unit versus union of india and others article 13a provides for equal justice and legal aid and to ensure opportunities for securing justice that are not denied to any citizen further article 1 provides for right to work 
education and public assistance. This article obligates the state to provide for within the limits of economic capacity and development of make uh, effective provisions for securing the right to work, to education and to public assistance in case of unemployment and old age and also sickness and disablement and in other cases of undeserved want. Obligation of the state to provide for just and humane conditions of work and maternity relief are found in the article 42. There is a case law which provides for maternity benefit for casual, employee, casual employees also. Municipal Corporation of Delhi versus female workers uh, which are, who are under master role. Then article 43 deals with that state shall endeavor to secure a living wage, conditions of work, ensuring a decent standard of life and full employment of leisure and social and, and cultural opportunities by suitable legislation or economic organization to all the workers. These workers are agricultural, industrial workers or otherwise according to this, uh, uh, according to this article 43. Further, this article in, the, in this reference obligates a state to promote cottage industries on an individual cooperative basis in rural areas. Further, Article 44 insists on uniform civil code for the citizen throughout the territory of India. 45 provides for early childhood care and education to children below the age of 6 years. This provision is inserted due to 86th Amendment Act 2002 in 2000 year with effect from 2010. Article 46 deals with the promotion of educational and economic interest of scheduled caste, tribes and other weaker sections. Article 46 states the right to nutrition and standard of living is another right where the state is obligated to improve public health. For example, a state can provide good and midday meal uh, for school children. Articles 47 deals with the obligation of the state to regard the raising the, of the level of nutrition and the standard of living of its people and raising of a nutrition level. Article 47 reads that the state shall regard the raising of the level of nutrition and the standard of living of its people and the improvement of public health as among its primary duties and in particular the state shall endeavor to bring about prohibition of consumption except for medical purposes of intoxicating drinks and of drugs which are injurious to health. For example, a state can say no to these and take measures. Now, we shall deal with the fundamental duties. Part 4a of the constitution prescribes for fundamental duties of the citizens. In this, there is a provision for parental responsibility to provide opportunities for education. Article 51a reads, it shall be the duty of every citizen of India to abide by the constitution and respect its ideals and it, its institutions, the national flag and the national anthem. B deals with the to cherish and follow the noble ideals which inspired our national struggle for freedom and to uphold and protect the sovereignty, unity and integrity of India. Also to defend the country and render national service when called upon to do so. To promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of India, transcending religious, linguistic and regional or sectional diversities to renounce practices derogatory to the dignity of women. Also, they have to value and preserve the heritage of our complete composite culture. Also, they have, it is our, their duty to protect and improve the natural environment including forests, lakes, rivers and wildlife and to have compassion for living creatures. To develop the scientific temper, humanism and the spirit of inquiry and reform is another duty. To safeguard public property and to abjure violence is also duty. To strive towards excellence in all spheres of individuals and collect activity so that nation constantly raises to higher levels of endeavor and achievement. And K deals with the 
who is a parent or guardian to provide opportunities for education to his child or as the case may be ward between age of 6 and 14 this k is added by the constitutional 86th amendment act 2002 dated 12 12 now let us summarize and see some suggestions given in this regard one has to appreciate the highly democratic nature of indian constitution and its flexibility and scope for expansion uh, of rights in general and child in particular it is through many rights vested as fundamental rights and we also may appreciate the various ways it obligates its states to provide for child welfare family welfare which in turn help for child development and protection of children in dangerous situations anywhere in factory or school etc and child is provided with many rights further it is through its democratic and socialistic and uh, flexible nature it has a scope for public interest litigation where public can speak and file a suit on behalf of a child and suggest for a, even an introduction of a new laws or amendment provisions for child that is how right to education became a fundamental right uh, for free and compulsory education to all children of the age of 6 to 14 years through a lot of conscious efforts and consensus of public yet by looking at the fly still existing worst forms of child labor and many issues due to child's living in poor and socio economic conditions there is still a need to look at the welfare and protection of the child through law and also public action thus this module dealt with elaborate provisions of the child in constitution in fact rights of citizens need to be considered as the rights of uh, child to hence it is to be understood of the various provisions bestowed on the child as a citizens of a india under fundamental rights for example article 38 that provides for secure social order and promotion of welfare article 41 that provides for right to work education and public assistance article 42 that insist on the state for provisions of humane conditions of work in maternity benefit or indirectly meant for the welfare and protection of children in a family if the parents or other members of the family are employed and mother is healthy the child will obviously have a, a, a very healthy life hence one must understand the provisions um, of the constitution uh, in general and in child in particular in relation with other provisions but not in isolation thus this study becomes fruitful and makes the persons to introspect on their role for improvement of a child and who needs a support uh, not alone from parents but everybody in the civil society and state now who shall look at some suggestions in this regard though constitution defines a citizen it does not define a child thus we have very definition the various legislations we may consider the following suggestions one by professor madabushi sridhar he is from law university uh, nalsar university of law, hyderabad it is on the age of the child for all protective purposes the age of the child should be uniformly up to 18 years he suggests this includes the age of age for employment which means any person employing the child under 18 shall be subjected penal and civil consequences for the crime and civil wrong of employment of child labor which shall be totally prohibited this also means that a child until attaining the age of 18 shall be entitled to have a right to education compulsory and free and for the purposes of protecting the right to life of girl child the provision of marriage is shall be shall also be recommended to be to be raised up to 21 on par with the male persons as young girls in this country require more protection says professor sridhar and there is another person uh, he is nk acharya no he held that through articles 36 to 51 in the directive principles the constitution has made it clear that the state in india is 
a welfare state and its economy is inclusive of all sections of people particularly the lowest of the law uh, and is expressively non exploitative in character acharya further states that though the supreme court cannot issue any directive uh, directions directives in the nature of mandamus to the state to legislate a law in in conformity with the principles stated in the chapter on directive principles it is in it, it can sustain certain state laws when they are in conformity with the directive principles acharya cites two examples in this regard one a court can sustain uh, sustain when a state creates a law that creates employment such as rural employment guarantee act and another example is when the state controls an industry by means of a regulation when the court would uphold on the basis that the law is a discouraging uh, monopoly hence says acharya state policy cannot prelude supreme court to examine whether such law of the state satisfy the declaration contained in the contained therein hence what we cannot what we can conclude uh, is that a state has the power to make good laws for the welfare of the people in general and children in particular provided provided the law is in conformity with the directive principles laid down in the part 4 of the constitution and another suggestion is from chinmay satpati and he suggests to exercise article 243 g of part 9a this deals with the municipalities provides which provide for institutionalization of child care by seeking to entrust programs of women and child development to pan- by panchayats uh, this is related in the 25th schedule 11 and there is another person savita bhakri he suggests that for complete abolition of child labor with the aim of progressively eliminating all forms of economic exploitation of children and also ensuring child participation and choice in matters and decisions affecting all their lives this is all thank you